As part of my advent reading, I've been looking at a book I bought when I was studying to be a priest at seminary back in the 1980s. It's a book called Motherhood and God by Margaret Hebblethwaite, and, and that's, that's the book there. I'm trying to remember whether I read it um, at the time because looking back at it I, I don't really recall um, having read it and it's probably as well that I didn't because it's 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 a very candid uh, description um, of a mother of three children who describes in sometimes graphic detail um, the experience of pregnancy, giving birth and coping with children when things are not going well and she she always has a nervous breakdown as some um, <coughs> as she describes it but anyway it's it's been a worthwhile read for me in, in, in uh, enabling me to have a deeper empathy hopefully with those who who experience such such things and in part as a response to that I wrote a piece which we're going to be listening to shortly which um, I put past my own sister who uh, trained as a, as a midwife and practised as a midwife uh, some years ago and also Pauline who you'll hear reading it. Um, so, but the words are mine um, in case there's any um, inaccuracies or unfairnesses in it. It's a bit like this book, it, it deals with not all, all the upsides of, of midwifery and uh, pregnancy um, tries to acknowledge that life isn't always rosy which I think is important to acknowledge as much as we at Christmas time try to focus on the joyful and the peaceful and the hopeful aspects of human existence there's always in the background and you hear this in many of the carols an accent on the forthcoming sufferings of Christ shared by his mother. So this piece really um, is paying honour to those who do have difficulties and sadnesses and grief and anguish in these matters as well as those who discover joy and love. break the rules. How long from conception to birth? Nine months, that's what we tell them. It's a kind of rule, but only a rule of thumb. Babies are rule breakers by nature. Some break the rules by ending their journey before we get to see them, and that's not how it's meant to be, we object. But to our pain and dismay, some babies beg to differ. How to console the grieving parents. That becomes our new task, assisting in giving birth to a new and unwelcome reality instead of a child. It can be hard to hear the thank yous at such times. We hold back our tears as best we can, encourage them to be kind to themselves, avoid the blame game, recover hope and always cherish the baby that briefly gifted joy to our hearts, even though it faded too soon. Other babies, impatient to breathe the cool air of this wondrous world, break the rules, exiting the womb ahead of their appointed time. Others, by contrary choice, cling to their cosy abode and so break the rules. With the impatient ones, shock and surprise arrive at the same time every careful plan hijacked by baby's agenda. No chance to negotiate the terms. Our job becomes reassurance, calming advice and diligent practicality, 
We're used to this and must prove it without trivialising their worries. Thank yous at times like this are more welcome. We are professionals after all, and it's good when our skill is appreciated. We wave our smiling farewells, sealing our lips from saying plenty more surprises await you. Parenthood is not a bed of roses. We respect the euphoria of the moment, it's part of the deal. The tiny few that do appear right on nine months are merely disguising the fact that they too are rule breakers. Their mothers may endure a happy agony, yet still it portends future sorrows, the price of love. As for Mary's baby, another rule breaker for sure. Conceived with the message of an angel, birthed in a stable, confined to a manger, rough shepherds the first to share the news. The rule breaking didn't end there. This child made it a whole life mission, first breaking the rules of exclusion, confronting injustice and hypocrisy, rejecting condemnation and defying racist assumptions. Such rule breaking was too much for the self-appointed law enforcers to bear. There's one rule he can't avoid, thought they, the permanence of death. They were wrong. <laughs>